good evening to all let's discuss very important topic of turbo machinery that is called dry gas seal system it is very important uh, system which is used only for application of hydrocarbon I said that dry gas system is uh, very important and uh, used for all the turbo machinery which is handling the hydrocarbon gas. Of course, this is not used for compressors where compressor is used for handling the air applications. So let's understand the dry gas seal, why it is needed to introduce the dry gas seal, why not other systems can be used as a sealing system. So let's uh, understand step by step since beginning what and how we can we can we can uh, make arrangement for sealing systems in different scenarios. So let's say in the case of uh, in case of uh, process gas, simple process gas where gas is flowing through the pipeline. So this is a pipeline and gas is flowing through this. And if you want to seal it, sealing means you have to stop the flow of the seal gas or flow of the process gas through the pipeline. This can be done either installation of one wall and or you can also install one blind with gaskets. So there are various ways through which this can be stopped or this can, this can be sealed. So let's see. Uh, the, this is the same pipeline process gas is flowing over the air and we have installed one uh, valve and which is tightly closed so flow of the process gas has stopped similarly in case of if, if you put the end blind with the gasket in perfectly tightened the flow of the process gas is stopped so we can say there are two ways which is shown here there are other ways also through which we have sealed the process gas sealing means the stopping of the flow of the process gas from the particular direction and the most important part you can see is the thumb rule or the fundamental rule is that the strength of the wall and the strength of this end blind should be more than pressure of the process gas otherwise it will not hold and second important part it we have considered this aspect considering there is no relative motion between the wall and the pipe similarly between the end blind and the pipe if the situation is different then certainly we go look for other options but in this case you can use these two method through which you can seal or you can stop the flow of the process gas in the pipeline now we can take the case of another scenario where the process gas is flowing between two stationary surfaces like this is one stationary surface this is another stationary surfaces and this is a process gas which is flowing now how we can isolate or how we can seal the process gas or how we can stop the flow of the process gas in this scenario so of course you can use o-ring or teflon seal so what is o-ring and what is teflon seal you can see this is o-ring this is simple rubber type of ring and this is teflon seal so this is a face sealing teflon so outer is a white color is a teflon and inside there is a spring this is a radial sealing sealing so this is again teflon the arrangement is a different so this portion should face the high pressure area this is very very important for the sealing of teflon so let's see so if you install one let's say o-ring over there of course and it is tightly fit then flow of the process gas is stopped that means sealing is done again the most important rule is the strength of o-ring much should be more than pressure of the process gas otherwise again it will not hold and as you say there is again no relative motion between o-ring and these two surfaces so when there is no relative motion between the two surfaces o-ring can be used when there is a flow through the pipeline you can use wall you can use and blind but what happens if there is a relative motion let's say 
let's say this is a rotor or shaft which is rotating and this is a housing or casing and gas is flowing between these two surfaces and there is a relative motion then how we can seal it the next sealing arrangement will come as called labyrinth seal so labyrinth is one type of sealing through which such arrangement can be sealed but labyrinth can be used for one particular application cannot be universally suited for other application which we'll discuss in coming slide what is labyrinth labyrinth you can see it's a num a sets of number of teeths which controls or which minimize the flow of uh, between the labyrinth it controls or minimize the flow that means the theory says that if there is certain differential pressure between these two end and if number of teeth is more then flow will be less with the same pressure ratio or same pressure difference if the number of teeth is less flow will be more so it is vice versa so you can this is a straight type labyrinth where the this teeth is installed teeth is fixed on the rotating shaft and other counterpart is a straight or flat similarly teeth can also be on the stationary part you can see here and the shaft is a what is this this is a uh, you can say it is a straight or without uh, teeth so only one should have a teeth and teeth can be uh, this is another type where diameter is increasing so if flow is from lower to higher you can uh, lower to higher side we can say increasing diameter labyrinth if you flow is from higher to lower we can say decreasing diameter labyrinth so there are various types of labyrinths are available in the industries of course for case of uh, dry gas seal straight labyrinths are used it can be either labyrinth on the shaft or labyrinth on the housing but or but for for dry gas seal it is always a straight type seals are used now again as uh, such arrangement we can seal because we have to stop the flow so you can supply high pressure seal gas over there of course as i said the seal pressure should be more than the process side which is sealing the process at the as well as this side also if it is venting so whichever is more the seal supply should be more than either this or this otherwise if this side is more if you are just this supply just more than this then the flow will not go this side so this is the thumb rule the seal supply pressure should be more than process side as well as the vent side both both needs to be considered sometimes you know the vent pressure is more than in low low compressor side because of low low pressure compressor application where you have to consider this side is a criteria through which you have to supply more pressure than this sometime if this is more then you have to consider this as a criteria to supply more pressure considering this so whichever is a higher accordingly you have to supply seal gas pressure which is more than these two so this is arrangement this is arrangement through which we can seal the process gas but what happens to this where it is going we'll see in next and there is another photo uh, you can see this is a seal supply which is sealing on the process side and then this is a going to bearing housing or vent so of course as i said this is a relative motion and this is the where you know all rotating machines have such arrangements so this is very important to understand the sealing of such arrangement now the labyrinth is used for expander and compressor machine you can see this expander exp this is compression this is a process side this is a process side but this this is a seal gas supply so two branch seal gas partially going this side process side which is sealing and then rest is coming here similarly on compressor side seal gas is coming this side and seal gas is coming these these two vent or drain you can coming together with the this is called the oil reservoir so both are connected so oil reservoir is pressurized bearing housing is also pressurized and whatever is seal vent which is coming here is again come return back to the compressor suction with diameter so in this scenario there is no wastage of energy no loss of energy no loss of uh, seal system 
and system is pressurized so we can say this is acceptable even though the machine is used for hydrocarbon application and this is successfully running all over the world there is no problem at all so pure labyrinth you can say only labyrinth is one system through which which can be used for expander compressor machines without any other support system but whether only labyrinth can be used for other application let's see maybe in case of ig compressor integrally geared compressor may not so let's try to understand this scenario so can a labyrinth seal only labyrinth seal can be used for integrally geared compressor ig means integrally geared compressor which handles lot of i mean more number of uh, rotors together driven by the bull gears but as i said in the previous case in expander compressor arrangement where the bearing housing and the oil tank both are pressurized but in case of ig compressor gear box is not designed to withstand that high pressure system and so we cannot use or cannot vent the you know the vent side of the labyrinth gas into bearing housing then where you have to send you have to send to flare so there is a loss of energy loss of waste so even though let's say let's say that uh, we are venting some portion of uh, labyrinth to flare and let's explore whether it is feasible or not whether it is only only labyrinth is feasible for ig compression let's see so we have made such arrangement like seal gas is sealing here and sealing the process gas and remaining we are venting to the flare flare of course it is a connection of all the waste of the plant leakages and which is going to common location where it is burning we cannot leave all the hydrohydrous gas to atmosphere that needs to be burnt before sending to atmosphere so but the situation becomes more difficult let's say i am giving one example let's say the process pressure that is compressor side pressure is 20 bar then let's say seal supply difference should be let's say 0.1 bar more than this so what should be the seal pressure that is 20.1 bar and the flare pressure is 0. Point, let's say 0.5 bar then what is difference between these two difference between these two is only 0.1 bar but difference between these two is 20.20 uh, sorry 20.1 minus 0.5 which is 19.6 so this much differential pressure acts between the threads or between the labyrinth as i said if the dp is a more even though number of teeth is the same flow will be more so in case of thousands and thousands of normal meter cube per hour flow will be went into the flare which is a waste of energy no recovery and so not acceptable so no one can accept such arrangement of sealing system so we can confirm that because of huge losses or venting to the flare lot of energy is wasted only labyrinth cannot be used for integrally geared compressor and this is how now dry gas seal system comes in picture to minimize this area only i will show you next slide the dry gas seal system will come here and it will minimize the losses where it is a lot of losses here so this will take care the dry gas seal and this is how dry gas seal system comes in industries now same arrangement i have made slightly change because there the dry gas the blue color is called uh, rotating tungsten carbide uh, material which is rotating which is fixed to the shaft which is rotating and this 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 is a stationary carbon ring which is attached to the housing so it is a fixed or uh, stationary and between these two faces there is a only 3 3 to 5 micron gap very small gap and because of very small gap the flow through this even though very high del differential pressure exists between up inlet and outlet the flow is even very less or in a less than 1% less than 1% of total flow of seal gas here very less so considering the previous case we are venting lot of gas now no lot of gas if you use only 
labyrinth but labyrinth plus dry gas it becomes we are controlling or you are minimizing the loss through which so i have slightly changed the now this is seal gas supply which is sealing the process and this pressure even though differential is very high across the labyrinth or across the dry gas the flow is very less less than one percent of total flow so there is small amount is venting which is acceptable and so you can say there is no much losses minimum losses no wastage much so this is widely acceptable so dry gas seal is widely used for ig compressors worldwide this is the region hope you understood why why dry gas seal is used why cannot use labyrinth this is the main topic or main things why dry gas seal has come into picture there is another photo i made just impeller attached to the same photo same arrangement it is sealing this is impeller which attached to rotor and this is venting you can think there is some leakage here of course we have not shown there is one backup arrangement which is called separation seals which is you know another floating carbon ring seal so through which it is sealing but our main intention of the discussion was why lab why dry gas seal is used so this is the dry gas seal arrangement and uh, I, I i i hope you have understood because to take care of the losses which is which was earlier coming through the labyrinth and the moment you installed dry gas seal the losses minimized and that is why this is widely used across the globe so i'm sure you you have uh, understood why this this is required why dry gas seal is required and uh, how in the in the let me summarize this thing initially we explain you about uh, the sealing of the piping which can be done the wall or end blind then we have also this some flow process flow between the two surfaces which are stationary can be used o-ring or teflon seal but one 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 part is rotating like shaft is rotating in housing is stationary in that case as a special case like turbox expander compressor system you can use only labyrinth because the bearing housing and uh, and uh, oil system both are pressurized it is designed and so there is no wastage of energy so only labyrinth can be used in hydrocarbon application for expander compressor system however in case of uh, ig compressor since the gearbox is not designed to withstand that high much pressure so the other side of the ceiling has to be vented to a flare which is very costly because in particular case when the delta differential pressure between the supply and uh, vent of flare pressure is high particularly high high compressor uh, high pressure uh, compressor application in that case losses are huge and so no one can accept such loss because the loss of energy loss of uh, uh, waste of uh, gases and so to take care of that losses labyrinth and dry gas seal is used which is taking care of or minimizing the losses vitamins because it is designed in such a way that even though there is a high delta p the losses or leakages between the faces is less than 1% of total flow which is very less only less this amount is venting to flare which is acceptable worldwide and so dry gas seal is very useful applications i hope so you understood and enjoys this session thank you thank you for watching